All right, so there is a topic I want to bring up related to this assignment. It's something new. We haven't talked about it yet. The topic is limits. And what do I mean by limits? Well, limits refer to the amount of space that you're going to need to draw whatever it is that you want to draw. Now, this drawing we looked at, well, it seems like a very long time ago, but you probably remember it. It is a drawing of the orbits of the planets in the solar system. And of course, the kicker about this drawing is it is to scale. Okay, so how much space are we talking about here if we're talking about the entire solar system? This is an incredibly massive and unbelievably large number uh, of square kilometers. This is tremendously huge. Okay, now AutoCAD, we can't say it's an infinitely large drawing canvas, but it can be as big as you want it to be. So in this case here, uh, it takes light five and a half hours to travel from the Sun to the orbit of Pluto. That's pretty far because light travels pretty fast. So we've got a tremendously huge amount of space and AutoCAD will accommodate you as long as you ask it nicely in the beginning of the drawing to give you the amount of space that you need. So to accommodate that, we're going to talk about limits. AutoCAD lets you set the limits for the amount of space you need. If it is helpful to you, you can think about limits like the digital canvas that you're working on. And they are effectively limitless, but we still need to apply some numbers to them so that AutoCAD knows how much space we're going to need. You access the limits command from the command line. And actually it's not a command, it's a setting. It's a setting of where do we want the origin to start, and then how much space do we want to draw in. Now for a small object, 12 inches in the X and 9 inches in the Y is a reasonable amount of space. And to be honest with you, in a brand new CAD drawing, that's exactly how big the limits are. When you click on Start Drawing, I know the grid looks like it goes on forever, and I mean effectively it does but believe it or not AutoCAD's giving you about 9 by 12 and you'd be able to see that if you typed in the word limits All right says so the bottom left corner is at coordinate 0 0 enter and now the top right corner of the limits we've assigned 12 inches to the X 9 inches to the Y so somewhere up here that doesn't seem very big does it and in fact if you wanted to you could go to the settings for the grid Right now the grid is set to be displayed beyond the limits. If you turn that off, you'll get to actually see how much limit AutoCAD has assigned to that initial drawing you were doing. And everything we've drawn up to this point has been small enough to fit in this 9 by 12 area. Not a big deal. But if we're going to make larger things, we have to request larger limits. So let's do that. I'm going to type in the limits. And I'm going to go to the limit setting and I'm going to say keep the bottom left at zero, 00. So I'll just hit enter to accept those numbers. And uh, what if I wanted to draw something a little bit bigger? How about 24 by 18? 24 in the X, comma 18 in the Y, hit enter. Do you see how the grid just got much larger? So I can go in there and actually set the limit to anything I want. I can say the bottom left is zero, 00. And the top right, how about 240 by 180? Right, and it will grow accordingly. So think of limits as you requesting from AutoCAD a certain amount of paper, a certain size of a piece of paper to draw on, even though it's electronic paper. Sometimes if we don't ask for the limits or set them up correctly, when we go to draw outside of them, AutoCAD will say no. <laughs> you know, you could be drawing a bunch of stuff and then all of a sudden AutoCAD will stop. It won't work. And you'll try to do something and it'll say, I'm not going to do that because you are outside of the limits. So this is a setup step that a lot of people skip, but in the end can cause you a lot of headaches. So limits are good to set up early on. If we look at what we've been drawing so far, these small drawings all easily fit within those 9 by 12 limits. 
So the default limits were okay for that drawing. The limits for this drawing are going to have to be bigger because the drawing is about 16 inches wide and 10 inches tall. See, that's not going to fit in a 9 by 12 area, right? So that's going to be larger. What do you think about this? If we were drawing these three bathroom cabinets or these three kitchen cabinets and uh, 85 inches wide, 36 inches tall, what kind of limits do you think you would ask AutoCAD for? Well, it'd have to be at least 85 inches in width and 36 in height, you know? So for a drawing like that, you could go to your AutoCAD and you can say, hey, uh, limits, bottom left, zero, zero. Uh, how about some nice round numbers? How about 100 by 60? Will our 85 inch wide, 36 inch tall cabinet fit in something that's 100 by 60? Of course it will. Of course it will. And now you've got a piece of paper in the digital world big enough to accommodate what you're trying to draw. And that's all limits are. Okay, it's just a request for sufficient resources to do your drawing. How about this? This is a small little house. It's 30 feet wide, 24 feet deep. So if we we're going to set limits for this, could we use our 9 by 12 inch limits? Not really. We'd have to get something at least 30 feet wide and 24 feet in depth. And you know, there's nothing wrong with going over, asking for a little bit more. Because look, the house is this big, but the dimensions stick out past it. So something like this, just double the numbers you're working with. Say, hey, I'd like 60 feet in the X direction and 48 feet in the Y direction. And AutoCAD will accommodate that. Okay, so don't have a cavalier, I, I, don't have a cavalier attitude toward limits. Uh, limits are important. I know lots of people that never set them, but it seems like such a small thing, and it can give you big problems later on. So take the time to look at what you're drawing, figure out how much space that you need, and then set your limits accordingly.